And the Jews tried all the more to kill him because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father and making him equal to God. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, a son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees his father doing. For what he does, his son will do also. For the father loves his son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may not be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to his Son, so that all who may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. And whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life, and he will not come under condemnation but has passed from death to life. Glory be to you, O Lord, glory be to you. Sviati Brothers and sisters, Slava Jesus, Jesus. glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Our brother in Christ, our brother in the priesthood, our brother in monastic life, our brother in um, the episcopacy, and our brother in our human family has passed away. And so we gather as one family, united in, uh, in baptism, and strengthened in the hope of the resurrection, which Jesus Christ uh, himself bestows upon us. So we pray for the blessed repose of Bishop Severi and Yekamishan, that the Lord God may uh, uh, look upon him with kindness, with mercy, and with love, so that he may be welcomed in into the kingdom of, of God and may be rewarded for the many years of faithful service uh, to the church and to God's people. Let us uh, pray for Fertilian, for all of uh, the Babbage, the Yekamishan uh, families, and uh, for 
our monastic family, the, the Order of St. Basil the Great, Sister Servants of Mary Immaculate, and of uh, the secular clergy that uh, join us uh, today. Uh, let us pray. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Judge Bishop Svetoslav, Metropolitan Lawrence, our beloved Bishop, Brian, Anna, David, the Reverend Priest of the Diaconate Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our nation, dear God, for our government and for the military, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The faithful that is for the bonds of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the sleepers, travelers, the sick and suffering, the captive and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the servant of God, Bishop Severian, in his blessed memory, and for the forgiveness of his offenses, voluntary and involuntary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he may stand blameless before the awesome tribunal of Christ, and may gain entry into the land of the living, the place of life with all the just repose, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may deliver from all tribulation, wrath, Lord, and fortune. God, Let us pray comparison. to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and stay, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, Together with all the saints, let us command ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and abounding in mercy. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father,
trampled death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father. And the Holy Spirit, save us, save us, save us. Sveća, umeri, Gospode, vi pomoljim se. Zastupy, spasy, pomiluj ochrony nas, Boże, Twojej blagodatiu. Gospody, pomiluj. Presvietu, prečistu, preblagoslovenu, slavnu vladyčku našu borodicu i presledio Mariju, z usima svietime pomianuši, sami sebe odin odnoju, sadite naše, Hristu Bovi, vidajmo. Bote te blaj, čoloviko ljubić, Bog je se i dvi slavu salajmo od sviju i senu i svjedomu duhovi, nini posjeg čas na vike večni. Persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil word against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad. to sing to you, Alleluia. Remember your servants, O Lord, because of your goodness, and forgive all the sins he committed in Yes. 
intercessor most acceptable to God, whom you bore, O Virgin Mother of God, salvation of the faithful. In a week Be with all of you. for the Lord and gives thanks to God. None of us lives for oneself and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord.
said, if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. Peace be with you, Andrea. Listen, let us be attentive. Make the pure light of your divine knowledge shine in the hearts of open the eyes of our minds, 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 open the eyes
It, it says, Dear Bishop, the Holy Father was saddened to learn of the death of Eparch Emeritus, Severian Yakimitian, and he offers heartfelt condolences to you, the clergy, religious, the family, and lay faithful of the eparchy of New Westminster, and to the late bishops' contraires in the Basilian Order of St. Josepha. In commending his soul to the love and mercy of Christ, the Good Shepherd, the Holy Father joins in your prayer of thanksgiving for the graces that have accompanied Bishop Yakimitian's years of devoted priestly and Episcopal ministry to the faithful in Canada. To all those who mourn Bishop Yakimitian in the sure hope of the resurrection, His Holiness cordially imparts his apostolic blessing as a pledge of peace and consolation uh, in the Lord. And this was sent to us through the, the new uh, Pope's representative here in Canada, newly appointed Apostolic Nuncio, we call him, Ivan Jorkovic, who uh, joins in, uh, in the Pope's sentiments by saying that I, uh, Archbishop Ivan Jorkovic, I pray that our Lord the Redeemer, with the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grant to Bishop Yekomishin the eternal reward destined to the faithful disciples and uh, good uh, shepherds. Well, <clears throat> it's a as if the way that Bishop Severian is placed before us, I don't know if you, if you notice the different directions, but um, a, a layperson, uh, 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 head would be at the front of the casket as this, and then their feet as this closest to the altar. For a priest and for a bishop, it's, uh, it's the opposite. It, it's a, as if uh, Bishop Severian, in the kingdom of God, in the newness and the fullness of resurrected life, were to stand and to preach to us, uh, the, continue to preach to us the good news of the gospel. And so we, so we de see this, this, this disciple of Christ, whereas as the faithful would, would face the, the risen Lord if Bishop Severian were called upon to preach one more homily to us, what might he say to us today? I don't know, but let me, let me uh, share a few words in that line. If Bishop Severian were, were to preach to us as, is, uh, in, in, as he did in, in life and uh, now in death, I think that he would speak to us about uh, a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage. And um, certainly Saints Peter and Paul, and in this area he would have attended many a, a pilgrimage, uh, perhaps growing up in, in Plain Lake, not all that far, and, and as then as a, as a young novice and, and uh, uh, seminarian here in uh, Mandare at, um, at the, the monastery. So a pilgrimage is not just something that we do in order to get from one place to another. Well, it, it is, but it's, it's much more. Right. A pilgrimage in, um, in the Lord's vineyard, in, in the kingdom of God, is a movement uh, from one place to another in growth. I, in growth in holiness, in growth in, in love, in growth in, in understanding, uh, growth in the kingdom, gro growing in what it means to be a son and a daughter of God on high. And so Bishop Severian's life can very much be likened to that of a, of a pilgrimage. His earthly life beginning in, in, uh, in Plain Lake, where, where he um, would have in his family, would have heard for the ver very first time the good news of the gospel message. Would, ha would have learned of God's love and mercy, would, would have learned uh, his prayers, his, his catechism, the Ten Commandments, and um, would have been um, baptized, would have been chrismated, and would have received the Eucharist in his local parish community. So his earthly family would have assisted him on his pilgrimage and, and, um, in discovering uh, uh, what it is uh, to be a son, uh, a son uh, of God on high. And 
they would have assisted him in that domestic church um, in prayer and in love so that in those formative years that he would go on to do far greater things. His earthly pilgrimage led him here to uh, Mandir. Where is this? Uh, he discerned and he prayed, uh, will, will I join the order of, of St. Basil the Great in the Canadian province? Uh, uh, represented today is this by, by the very Reverend Father Gabriel uh, Haber, the provincial superior. So he would have prayed here, he, he would have uh, attended uh, church services, he would have learned of the, the ways and the, and the life of, uh, of the Brazilian uh, fathers, the Brazilian brothers, uh, the, the community. His pilgrimage then would have led, led him to, uh, to Rome uh, for his more philosophy and theology uh, training. Uh, he, upon his return, as this, amongst other places, being here serving in the parish of Mandir and, uh, and in Ottawa, then returning to, to Rome uh, to be uh, one of the uh, uh, leaders on, on the leadership team for the worldwide order of, of St. Basil the Great. And then is this being called by, I guess, St. John Paul II would have, been, would have been the time to be the Bishop of the Eparchy of, uh, of New Westminster. So his earthly pilgrimage took him to, to quite a few wonderful places uh, where his, his love, his, his um, uh, leadership, his, his, uh, his laughter, his humor, uh, his earthly presence uh, would have led uh, the flock as is to in their earthly pilgrimage. Um, in his responsibility to oversee is this, this beautiful church in the Eparchy of New Westminster where I have the privilege to journey, journey with uh, them now. Uh, why, why does this come to my mind? Um, well, all, all, of, all of these places were but um, stopping points on Bishop Severian's uh, earthly life. But, uh, but I'd like to think is this that, that he, he knew and he recognized that his earthly life was not the end, that he was created uh, to be with God. In, in the kingdom of God, in, the, in paradise, in the Garden of Eden. So much so is this that um, uh, Deacon Howard, uh, who was a, a faithful friend of Bishop Severian and, and uh, for the last number of years would um, come to the, um, the monastery, to St. Mary's, uh, the, pr um, the protection of the Mother of God, parish in Vancouver, and um, Bishop Severian is this in the chapel in the monastery is this Deacon Howard would um, respond to the divine liturgy that Bishop Severian would lead uh, day in and, uh, and day out. And then uh, Deacon Howard was telling me, he was, uh, I, 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 uh, on my, uh, drove me to the airport uh, as I was returning to Edmonton, and he was telling me is this just a few of his thoughts and one that I'd like to share is this, is that um, uh, even though Bishop Severian's uh, earthly body was, was failing him and he was growing tired, um, uh, he would perk up when uh, Deacon Howard said, well, let's pray, let's pray the rosary or whatever it is. And uh, to the la last day, they would gather in, in prayer. And then uh, uh, Bishop Severian says, get my shoes. And um, uh, Deacon Howard originally thought is this, well, that meant is this, you know, maybe he wanted to walk around the, the care center where, where he was, but he was too weak to do that. And then it dawned on Deacon Howard and he shared with that, Bishop Severian wants to go home. He wants to go home to the Father. After 91 years of faithful service in the religious community as a priest, as a, as a bishop, as the oldest living Ukrainian Catholic bishop in the entire world. Uh, Patriarch Satislaw has just pointed that out uh, in his greeting uh, to us. Uh, bishop Severian wanted to go home. And in his weakening body, is, this, is that how, was how Deacon Howard and, and how I believe 
that he expressed that. Get my shoes. <laughs> he didn't need his, his shoes. But as this it was an expression of his desire, as this is that, Lord, I have been faithful. Uh, allow me to come home. And so, in one small sense, today his earthly pilgrimage brings him back home, uh, to his earthly home from where he started. Okay, Plain Lake, Mandir, close enough. Is this, but it was his wish, his desire to be buried here uh, in, amongst his confreres within the order of St. Basil the Great that, that gave him length, life and strengthened him uh, day in and day out. And, and uh, for whom is this that all of these years he was proud to say that I am, I am a bishop, but I'm a Basilian bishop. I belong to the order of St. Basil the Great. This never escaped him. Uh, so those uh, in, uh, in the Basilian order, is this, you should know, is this of, of his love for you and for, for, the, for the, the beauty of, uh, of the order of St. Basil the Great. Um, so although in a short time after the liturgy that Bishop Severian would have led many, 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 many thousands of times is this in, in his entire life and his ministry is this that very soon he'll be, his earthly body will be laid to rest here at uh, the cemetery of St. Uh, Peter and Paul Parish. But um, may uh, this last homily of Bishop Severian of a pilgrimage and um, that this earth is uh, a place in which we pass through, in which we learn of, of uh, love of God, love of self and love of neighbor. Yeah. May we reflect on our, our own earthly journey. One day, for some of us sooner, for others later, is this we will join Bishop Severian in the, the hope of the, of the resurrection. But um, for those uh, who, who, who have much time still on in this earthly journey, uh, may, may you grow in your earthly pilgrimage. May you grow in your love for God who gives you life and sustains and nurtures your earthly life. And um, may you be an inspiration, a support, a witness and testimony to God's love and presence in the world to others, starting in your own family, amongst your neighbors, your friends, and, and strangers alike. So, um, as Pope Francis uh, started his greeting to us, he was saddened to learn of, of the passion, passing of Bishop Severian. We are saddened to say farewell to Bishop Severian. But um, we, cannot be help, uh, we cannot help but be filled with joy in our hearts that the earthly pilgrimage of Bishop Severian now leads him to the heavenly pilgrimage into the kingdom of God. And so is this, we offer our gratitude and thanks to Bishop Severian, but um, uh, we know is this that uh, God will reward him, the faithful servant, for his dedication and years of service in the church and bringing, sharing the good news of the gospel message. Having been strengthened by the word of God, the living word of God in, 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 uh, in our hearing, and having reflected on Bishop Severian's pilgrimage and our own pilgrimage, let us continue this divine liturgy, uh, that may we be nourished by Jesus' body and his blood in, in the Eucharist, so that we may have food for the pilgrimage. Let us pray. With her whole soul, with her whole mind, let us sing. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for our most holy universal bond. Francis, the Pope of Rome, for our most blessed uh, patriarch, Jeff Islam, for our most reverend Nicopolitan Lawrence, 
and for our God-loving bishops, Bishop Brian and Bishop David, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and mothers, and for all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the nation of Canada under God, for our governments and all the military. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the repose of the soul of the departed Sir to God, Bishop Severian, who's fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of his sins, done in malice or in weakness. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God would place his soul where all the holy and the just repose. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the people here present who await the new great and bountiful mercies for those who have been kind to us and follow Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and a loving God, and we give glory <laughs> to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now always and forever and ever. Amen. Again and again in peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Premudrish, to pit vladiu tvojeju zauzde berežni, me tebi slavo vosalale. Oču i sinu i svetom duhu vini ni povšek čas i na viki vični. Amen. Because of your love for humankind, a love which cannot be expressed or measured, you became man unchanged and unchanging. You were appointed our high priest as master of all, and a down to us a priestly ministers for this liturgical and bloody sacrifice. The Lord, our Lord, our God, have dominion over heaven and earth. You were born and thrown in the cherubim, the Lord, the seraphim, king of Israel. The Lord, our holy, rest in the holies. I implore you, though, for who alone are good and ready to listen, look upon me, a sinful, useless servant. Cleanse my heart and soul, leave the lines of my conscience. By the power of your Holy Spirit, enable me to implore the grace of the priesthood. To stand before your holy table and offer you the sacrifice of your holy, most pure body and precious blood. Bending my neck, I approach and I petition you. Turn not your face from me, nor reject me from among your children. But allow these gifts to be offered by me, a sinful and worthy servant. As you offer and you offer, as you receive and you are given, O Christ your God, we give glory to the eternal Father, most holy, good, life giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us lift up our hands to the holy places and bless the Lord. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom the holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our patriarch, Sotislao, 
our Most Reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop Brian, those in the priestly, diaconal, monastic, and religious orders, our civil authorities and peacekeepers, the ever-to-be remembered benefactors and founders of this Holy Church, and all the Orthodox Christians now always and forever and ever. Amen. That we may receive the King of all, escorted invisibly by ranks of angels. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Spoon. Молитву нашу, Господеві. Господи, помилуй. За принесені честі дари, Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. За святий храм ци ти, що з вірою і благовінням і страхом Божим ходить до нього. Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. Щоб визволитися нам від усякої скорби, ні винужди, Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. Щедро ти ми єдинородного сина Твого, що з ним благословений си, з присвятим і благим і живітворним Твоїм духом нині і повсяк час, і навіки вічні. Амінь. Ми. Ось любим один одного, щоб однодумно визнавати. Ось Сина і Святого Духа, Тройцю єдину сушню і неродину. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offer peace the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is, right and just it is right and just to sing of you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you forever in your domain. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, always existing and ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us to nothingness into being, and after we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your future kingdom. For all this we give thanks to you, to your only begotten Son, and to your Holy Spirit, for all things which we know and do not know, the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and hidden. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim, seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, hovering aloft on their wings. 
singing, uh, crying, exclaiming, and saying the triumph for him. With these blessed powers, O Master, who love humankind, we too cry out and say, Holy are you, truly all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, truly all holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world as to give your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. After he had come and fulfilled the whole divine plan for our sake, on the night he was given over, or rather gave himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy, most pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. In like manner, the cup, after the supper, saying, uh, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Remembering, therefore, this salutary commandment and all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming, we offer to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. We sing of you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, our God. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Further, we offer to you this rational and bloody worship, we ask, we pray, and we entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here present, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, Amen. and that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ, Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit, Amen. so that they may be for the communicants sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not for judgment, or condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational bloody worship for those who have gone to the rest in faith, for fathers, fathers, mothers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul that finished this life in faith. O Sablus, a priest, you too, preaches to Preblavoslavene, who slav never led it to Nashabo Roditu, a priest, no diva Marie. Among the first, remember, Lord, our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most blessed uh, uh, patriarch, Svetoslav, our most grand metropolitan, Lawrence, our God-loving bishop, uh, Brian, and David, for the sake of your holy churches, grant that may live in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, 
and write the part the word of your truth. And remember, all men and all women. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Sí, světe k pominu vše štajšte, měli hospodě vypomlním vše. Hospodě pomíru. Za prenášení i usvědčení čestný dar, hospodě vypomlním vše. Hospodě pomíru. Pro včelový kolubec Bůh nás prynal vše jich vše tej nebesnej vdochovný svý žrtovník. Jak vie mi zápek duchovný si slávnom Božiu stvenu blahodát i dar Švetoho Ducha pomlním ša. Hospodí pomíru. Čo by svojte, že nám budú šakuj skorbe hny vojnúšte. Hospodí pomlním ša. Hospodí pomíru. Nastupuj, spasi, pomiluj, ochorovni nás Bože, Tvoje je blahodáťu. Hospodí pomíru. Já vše udoskonalo, se to měrně bezříšnou, hospoda, prosím. Podaj, hospody. Angelám bejru, věrnou nastavníka, ochoronce do žitěl našeho, hospoda, prosím. Podaj, hospody. Prošení, vytpušení, rychy vyproříši našeho, hospoda, prosím. Podaj, hospody. Dobrý požitošně duš našich, měrně dle světo, hospoda, prosím. Podaj, hospody. Ostali čas žitě našo, myri pokajání, skinče to, hospoda, prosím. Podaj, hospodě. Christianství, končené žitě našo, bez boli, zny, bez dany, myrny, dobro tvítu, na strašnom osudě Christomu, prosím. Podaj, hospodě. Jedni z tvíry přičastě, světoho ducha, vyprosivši sami sebe, odin odný, vše žitě naše, Christu, bo vyvídajmo. Make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you. We give you thanks, O invisible King. For by your infinite power you created all things, and in your great mercy brought all things from nothingness into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads to you, for they have not bowed them down of flesh and blood, but you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth ways as lie before us all for our good, and in accord with each one's personal need. Say, O oh, the seafarers, travel with the travelers, heal the sick, O physician, of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Attend, O Lord Jesus Christ, your God, from your holy dwelling, and from the throne of glory in your kingdom, and come to sanctify us. You who are seated on high with the Father and are visibly present here with us, deign to give to us with your mighty hand your most pure body and precious blood, and um, uh, through us to all the people. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive, the holy things for the holy. One is broken and distributed as the Lamb of God. Broken, not divided, always eaten, never consumed, the sanctifying those who partake, the fullness of the Holy Spirit. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed are they whom you have chosen and taken to yourselves, O Lord. And let their memory be from generation to generation.
I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Oh, Approach with the fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God the Lord has appeared to us. Receive the at all times. His praise shall be constantly in my mouth. Receive a body of Christ. It is the fountain shall glory in the Lord. Let the meek hear and rejoice. Receive the body of Christ. It is Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Receive the body of Christ. It is Be 
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We worship the undivided trinity for having saved us. Blessed be our God, always, now, and forever and ever. Having received the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, and life giving us all mysteries of Christ, let us rightly give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord you bless those who bless you, O Lord, yeah. and sanctify those trust in <laughs> you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us a hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our nation, dear God, to our government and to all your people. For all good giving and ever perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of light. And we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Please be seated. So before we conclude with the um, Panikhidas service, and um, I'd like to invite uh, Susan Babich to share a few words on behalf of the family. Uh, maybe if, it, if so they could hear at home for live stream, yeah. Okay. Good morning to you all. Uh, what a beautiful day it is to celebrate a beautiful life. Uh, my name is Susan Manchuk, and I am the niece of the bishop. On behalf of the family, I would like to talk a bit about the bishop from his family's point of view. Stephen Yakimishan was born in 1930, the firstborn to immigrants from the Ukraine, Joseph and Mary. Fitting their names for parents of the future bishop, as like Jesus' parents. Stephen was followed by his brother Mike, sister Tilly, and brother Walter. The family homesteaded in the Plain Lake area. Life was hard in the 30s, so everyone had to work hard to survive, including our uncle. They were a devoted Catholic family and attended Plain Lake Church faithfully. 
No one can pinpoint exactly when Stephen received his calling to become a priest, which must have come at an early age. He left home at the age of 14 to study in Mundere, and he never looked back. The pride and blessing the family must have felt to have one of their own choose this religious life. He had at one point, had to get, he had to give up his first name and he chose the new name Severian, which was chosen, I was told, was the closest to his name and would reflect the name that he would carry on for the rest of his life. Bishop Severian is predeceased by his father Joseph, mother Mary, brother Mike, and brother Walter, sister-in-law Alida, and brother-in-law Edward Babbage. He is survived by his only sister, Tilly Babbage, sister-in-law Anne Yakimishan, and sister-in-law Amy Yakimishan. He also leaves behind three nieces and two nephews, Linda Madsen, Sharon Sanderson, and myself, nephews Wayne Babbage and Dave Babbage, five great nieces, Natasha, Kim, Amy, Jessica, and Katie, seven great nephews, Terrence, Ty, Colton, Jarrett, Cal, Cole, and Josh and five great-great nieces and nephews, Adeline, Emmett, Rowan, Leo, and Huron, plus, of course, many extended family, cousins, and friends. I was a bit of a rebel in my thinking in my earlier life. I often challenged my uncle with many questions about the church and its rules and beliefs. He always stood his ground with faith and knowledge and kindness. He was truly a man of unwavering faith, and, we, and when we, of course, were blessed to have him in our lives. So this evening, I would like you all to raise your glass, whether it's alcoholic or not, and have a toast to the bishop, our uncle, our cousin, our friend. He did enjoy a good cognac or a whiskey. <laughs> And I hope we all enjoy a bit tonight. Until we meet again on the other side, brother, uncle, relative, and friend. God bless you. And uh, if I could say something about that, uh, that cognac. He was very generous in, in his portions. I'm glad when I would visit him in Vancouver that I wasn't driving. But I'd like to encourage everyone to, to, to take up on, on Susan's uh, 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 wish, challenge, to remember Bishop Severian. Uh, I, I guess I had forgotten this about him, but, but in U.S. Minster, on the evening of the prayers, they gave out ice cream as people were leaving the church because he loved ice cream. And then at St. Mary's in Vancouver, uh, they gave out uh, uh, O. Henry bars, because I guess he had a very great fondness for O. Henry. All of these things to me, a glass of cognac, a glass of wine, uh, ice cream, chocolate, it means is this the, that the sweetness of this life uh, uh, will be even better in the next, in the heavenly realm. Is this usually dessert is the thing you, you have at the very end. So the best awaits all of us. And if we thank you, if we can add that to, to our story, to Bishop Severian's uh, pilgrimage, the best awaits us yet. I'd like to invite uh, Father Gabriel uh, Haber, the Provincial Superior of the Order of St. Basil the Great, to say a few words as well. Slava Isusu Christu. <clears throat> First, uh, most importantly, I would like to thank uh, the Commission family for, uh, for raising uh, and it's a proof uh, where family prays together, stays together, and outcome is uh, him a beautiful calling to the priesthood, uh, leader in the church, uh, Bishop Severian. So I would like to really thank 
uh, Yakimish and family, for giving and raising a, such a wonderful leaders in, in, in our church. And as well, I would like to thank uh, uh, a few fathers, and that is Father Seraphim, who was a few years uh, a pastor uh, at St. Mary's, and they live together, uh, and the Father Seraphim was giving a wonderful uh, support and care for Bishop. And as well, uh, for the uh, last couple of years, uh, Father Joseph Piscalni, who is a superior, and as well, he is a pastor, he gave a, a, a wonderful service to Bishop Severian. Uh, to a few weeks ago, when I visited uh, 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 Vancouver, and we were talking with Bishop Severian, and we said, Bishop, we want to offend you, but how would you like that your funeral will be organized? He was said this thing, another thing, and then he said, you know what, there will be bishops, there will be metropolitan, they will take care of it. So he was already looking into eternity, and it was a wonderful uh, encounter. And as well, I would like uh, to thank uh, our Metropolitan uh, who joined us last week uh, for the funeral services. And uh, numerous uh, uh, condolences that we received. You heard from Bishop David that we got uh, uh, the, the condolences from his Holy Father, uh, as well from our patriarchs, Yatoslav, Metropolitans, bishops, and as well, Roman Catholic bishops. And as well, I would like to thank uh, Bishop uh, Brian for coming today and uh, celebrating and giving a thank farewell you. to Good our evening. Bishop Severian. And as well to our Bishop David, who uh, before uh, Bishop uh, Severian was taken into the hospice, so he went and to visit him. So, and as well, last week and this week, he is joining us uh, for uh, and leading us into prayer and as well final farewell. Bishop David, thank you and th thank you for your support and leadership. So fortunately, right now <laughs> we know the, the COVID, uh, uh, the government is giving uh, restrictions for safety, so we're not going to have a, uh, a lunch. And I think Bishop Severian would protest that because he loved parties. He would never ever leave somebody without food and he was a wonderful cook. He would cook meals. So Bishop Severian, sorry we cannot fulfill your uh, final, uh, uh, final wish, but we, uh, instead we are giving you our prayers and support as our Heavenly Father embraces you. So I will uh, give to a microphone to Bishop David, he will give us final words of instruction. Slava Isusu Christu. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father Gabriel, and, and for your beautiful, loving, and fatherly care as this, uh, for Bishop Severian throughout the years of his retirement, but in, in particular as of late, as, this, as he was preparing to, to go home. So now we'll have an opportunity as this for, to say our uh, final farewell to, to Bishop uh, Severian. This is, I invite you to follow the uh, instructions, the direction of, uh, of um, uh, our funeral directors from Park Memorial. Uh, following that is this will conclude with the uh, Panikhita service and those that are able to join us at the cemetery for the interment uh, uh, um, uh, service at St. Peter and Paul Cemetery then too. Thank you.
we continue our prayers for our beloved brother in Christ, Bishop Severian, with the Panechida beginning with the Tropars, with the just spirits, Zduchoma Spuchila. Kedoshe pomerlo svoj gospodnjo, ker se verjana na vsakomu pro našo prostete se imo vsakomu prorečenju dobrodelnomu i nedobrodelnomu. God of all spirits and of all flesh, you trampled death. You made the devil powerless and you gave life to your world. 
Now, O Lord, to the soul of your servant, Bishop Severian, who has fallen asleep, grant rest in a place of light, a place of verdure, and a place of tranquility with from which pain, sorrow, and mourning have fled. As the good and loving God forgive every sin of thought, word, or deed that he has committed, there is no one who will live and not sin, for you alone are sinless. Your justice is everlasting justice, and your word is true. For you, O Christ, our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant, Bishop Severian, who has fallen asleep. And we give glory to you together with your eternal Father and your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Christ, our true God, who has power over the living and the dead, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of the holy, glorious, and all praiseworthy apostles, of our venerable, godly fathers and mothers, of um, our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, and of all the saints who place the soul of his servant, Bishop Severian, which has departed from us in the abodes of the just and will give him rest in the bosom of Abraham and number him among the just and will have mercy on us for he is good and loves humankind. In blessed sleep, grant eternal rest, O Lord, to you ever to be remembered, servant Bishop Severian, make his memory everlasting. Vich nu pomp nyo Hospodevi pomalim O merciful and gracious Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who became a man for our sake and took the sins of the whole world upon yourself. You gave the keys of the kingdom to the chief apostle Peter and the other apostles as well. Through your grace, you granted them full power to bind in heaven whatever they bound on earth, and to loose in heaven all they loose on earth. In your ineffable benevolence, you also designed that, designed that we, in our misery and worthiness, inherit the power over the actions of your people to bind or loose. And so, 
by this authority which you give to your bishops and priests. We believe that you have given the power and pardon and forgiveness to this, your servant, Bishop Severian, who has left us to go to you in the hope and belief of the resurrection. Before his death, while still on earth, he expressed sorrow for sins and confessed and was <coughs> forgiven and absolved. And we believe that he was forgiven and absolved by you in heaven. As a human being, however, if in any way he did not satisfy your just sentence and is temporarily withheld from the repose of the saints and not allowed to behold uh, the light of your glorious countenance, we humbly beseech you as we commit his body to the grave and spiritually and physically bend our knee before your majesty of you who reign over the living and the dead, who lead to Hades and out of it. And we fervently pray, heed, and give the prayer of us, your unworthy servants. And because of your passion and, unbunti and the bountiful shedding of your blood, and because of your life-giving death, burial, and saving resurrection on the third day, by which you saved us from slavery to the enemy, grant full forgiveness for the voluntary and involuntary sins he may have committed while in the flesh by word, deed, or thought, and which may have been unconfessed because of their great number or because of forgetfulness. Free him from any guilt or punishment due for sins. Grant his soul rest in a place of light, an oasis of delight, and a haven of peace from which pain, trouble, and grief have fled. And so once again, we beseech you, O Lord, our God, and your eternal Father and life-giving Spirit, do not let your creature become a sacrifice of destruction. Let his body be committed to the earth to crumble into what it came from, according to your word. You are earth and shall return to the earth. And so the loving Lord placed his soul in the dwellings of the holy ones to abide in your heavenly mansions with the just until the time of the general resurrection. For you said, all that the Father will give me shall come to me, and the one who comes to me I will not turn away. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that I should not lose anything of all that he gave to me, but I raise it up on the last day. And the one who believes in me has eternal life and shall not come to judgment, but pass from earth to life. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of those who rightly believe in you and pass on to you in the hope of rising to everlasting life, O Christ our God. And to you we render together with your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit now and forever and ever. May our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, who graciously strengthen you in faith and in living a Christian life, graciously accept all our prayers and with the oil of his mercy, may he cleanse you of all sins which you committed through human failing and may he grant you a reward with the saints who sing to him, Alleluia. Tilly and, and uh, family, Father Gabriel and, and your family, and uh, to all. Let us continue to carry each other's in, in prayer as we say farewell to Bishop Severian, but in the hope and joy of the resurrection, that now he is reunited with, uh, with his parents and loving family members, all of those that have gone before him, and that we too may be strengthened in our earthly pilgrimage.
reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord, glory be to you. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear it will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to his Son possession of life in himself. And he have gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear the voice of the Son of God and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who said, 